definitely propped up on <laughs> a box of walnuts. It looked like an egg because I had greasy hair, so I just scraped it back as soon as I woke up. I've just got kind of ready, but obviously, as you can tell, I'm still in my pajamas. Um, I have quite a busy day, quite an exciting day actually. I just got up, had a little drink outside. It's such a nice day outside, so I just sat out there for a little while with my dogs. And then me and dad made some juices yesterday. So this is the green juice that we made. I just had yogurt and granola and berries. So I feel like the day is off to a very good start. So I have a lecture today and then I have to do some preparation for a meeting that I have with my dissertation supervisor. It's my first meeting with her so I'm kind of nervous but also kind of excited. I don't know. I just want to get it started so that I know that I'm on track to finish. And then me and my sister are going to the theatre. Our auntie booked it for us for our birthday, so that'll be fun. I think we'll probably go and get some dinner before. But I just thought I'd film it because I woke up this morning in such a good mood and I just felt so productive and like made a healthy breakfast and everything. So yeah, let's just film it. I'm fine. I've got my cute little summer outfit on because it's bloody boiling. Bye bye Myla. I think I'm gonna be a bit early. I've literally been early for everything recently and this is so unlike me. Okay. Oh, my door's open. <laughs> oh, what an idiot. Look how sunny. so fun yesterday like it's such a nice thing to do with my sister and also obviously because my auntie booked it for us it's not something that we would book for ourselves like we would just never think like oh should we just go to the theater on a random tuesday but yeah because she would booked it for us obviously we went and it was just su such a nice thing to do it's quite a late start for me this morning it's like half nine already um i woke up at like half eight but I've just eaten breakfast and done my skincare and everything. When I filmed yesterday, I thought I was just going to film like one day in my life. But I actually have no uni the next few days. And so I thought I'll just film them like of me working while I'm at home and stuff like that. I have quite a few deadlines coming up as well. They're just approaching really quickly and I've been putting them off for ages, but they're near. So I have a gym class today at 1.30, but I think I'm going to go to the gym like the restaurant in the gym and just work there i'm gonna try and get there for half ten so then i've got three hours to just do some work and then i think i'll probably grab lunch there after my class yeah i'm gonna get started on stuff for my dissertation today because obviously i had my meeting yesterday and i know what i'm like if i don't start now i will just keep putting it off forever the next few days of this are probably going to be me working a lot i mean i do have some like fun things planned but mostly i'm probably just going to be doing work i'm also going to see one of my best friends who lives in newcastle this weekend after my class i'll just come home and probably chill a little bit i need to wash my hair because obviously i've scraped it back 
yesterday and I'm going to scrape it back again today for my gym class. So yeah, anyway, essentially what was meant to be a one day vlog is now much longer. I'm going to go and get ready and then head to the gym, get some work done and just try and continue being productive. Like I've been on a productive streak recently, so I need to keep that up. <laughs> just running i'm gonna quickly tidy my room while it's running um and i just went to pick up a ready meal for dinner my family are gonna go out for a meal but i just really want to stay in tonight and get an early night um so i'm not gonna go once i've washed my hair i'm just gonna paint my nails because i think i'm gonna paint my hands too normally i do gels but my nails are in a pretty bad condition i had biab and i know that biab normally makes your nails good but i picked mine off um, so it ruined my nails underneath. Um, so I think I'll just paint them with normal nail varnish and then I can take it off and just like put oil and stuff on them afterwards. But I'm going for dinner tomorrow night so I want them to look nice and I want my toes to match. And yeah, I'm just going to do that and have a relaxing evening with my ready meal <laughs> by myself. That's my plan for this evening, just completely chill. Oh, my gym class was really good. I did it with a different instructor to who I normally do it with and she was really good as well. Straight afterwards, I was like struggling to walk down the stairs because we did a lot on like legs. One day I will film a class because I always think that Reforma Pilates looks really nice, but I just am way too embarrassed to walk in there with a camera and be like, hi, can I film myself? Like that just, oh. So I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon, but maybe one day <laughs> also i'm excited to do my hair and actually have it nice because when it's scraped back like this i don't know like i like it for a while but it's like rock solid from hairspray so i just want to get all of that out i think i might curl it because i'm going for dinner tomorrow and it will be nice to have it curled and looking nice anyway bath nails hair dinner sleep <laughs> what is wrong with me today but i literally did no work i sat at my computer for about an hour didn't get anything done and just realized like i was so tired i literally couldn't focus i don't know why i was so tired i have been sleeping but anyway so i just got back into bed and i just napped and i only just woke up as you can probably tell by this um and i realized i have half an hour till i need to leave for dinner I have not chosen my outfit. Luckily, I did my hair last night. I mean, you can't really see now, but I just curled it last night with the air wrap and I don't put like hairspray or anything in. I just leave it to drop um, because I don't like it when they're really tight. Anyway, yeah, so now I need to get ready in half an hour. I mean, it's probably more like 25 minutes now. But yeah, I feel like I've just been trying really hard to be like productive, to be going to the gym, to be like waking up early, doing all my work. That's obviously a bit too much. But to be honest, it was good because I have quite a busy weekend and like tonight's busy, tomorrow's busy. I'm getting obviously a train to Newcastle, so I obviously just needed to rest. Anyway, <laughs> I really need to get ready now because I'm late.
had one too many drinks. Um, could I please get a six chicken nugget meal? Yeah. Um, and can I just get that with a water? Okay. And then can I also get a caramel ice frappe, please? Yeah. That's everything. Thank you. All right. Thanks for that. Thanks. Thank you. I am keeping my sunglasses on <clears throat> to eat this because I am not a pretty sight underneath. Well, I am officially the world's biggest lightweight. You know when cocktails taste like juice and then all of a sudden I had to stand up and go to the toilet and I was like, oh no, this is not good. I actually feel all right now though. I don't really feel hungover. I just feel tired. If I do not get between eight and nine hours sleep, I am not okay. I need to get the train to Newcastle in three and a half hours. And I still need to pack. I need to wrap the gifts I bought for my friend. Do you wrap housewarming presents? I feel like you do. I need a nice wholesome weekend in Newcastle. Also, you know sometimes you get just a really bad batch of chips with McDonald's? Um, that is what I got today. So, my chips are shite. I'm gonna shut up now and go and wrap her gifts. <laughs>